Greetings, everyone, and welcome to Bot to Center Nation. So today we're going to look at some of the more advanced features of the Dolphin Emulator, including adding HD textures for your, some of your favorite games within Dolphin. So the first thing we're going to do is look at those HD textures, okay? So it turns out there's a wonderful article on the Dolphin forums uh, about these texture packs, okay? And essentially, uh, these texture packs can be divided into two formats. You have the regular texture packs, okay? Uh, and then you also have the resource packs, uh, which is a repackaged format of the texture packs. And it turns out that this version, the resource pack manager, does not work within the Dolphin emulator in Batocera. However, the good news is that there is a way to convert these resource packs into a regular texture pack. And I'm going to show you how to do that, okay? So another thing I want to show you is this. In the forums, you can find a number of HD texture packs of some of your favorite games. And I will be providing links in my video description, okay? And from there, click on the one you want and uh, download it, okay? Here's another one I'm also going to share with you all. And here's some more. Okay, all these, again, I will be providing links in my video description. Here's some more. Uh, this one is for Resident Evil 4. Uh, and from that one, you need to zero in on these right here. Part 1, Part 2, and Part 3. Download all that and then unzip it. All right, then we have the Star Wars Collector right here. So go ahead and click on this right here. And that will take you to this page. And we got Rogue Leader 2, Rebel Strike 3, Jedi Outcast. You can click those as well. Then we have Super Mario Sunshine. This one gave me a hard time. I suspect that it's the texture pack itself, okay? But if you want to play this one, it's probably one of the more popular ones out there, then go ahead and download this one here, full pack. I'm going to show you a little trick that you can play this game, but it's not going to be pretty. All right. Then I also have Tony Hawk's Underground HD Texture Pack, okay? This is found on archive.org. Uh, for this one, turns out this is one of those resource texture packs, okay? I'm going to show you how to convert that into a regular texture pack. You can download that right here. All right, so once you download your texture packs, you have to unzip each and every single one of them without exception. And then just create a folder and call it textures, and that's it. And in there, just go ahead and put the ones you've unzipped, okay? Now, the file format or the folder name for each of these texture packs have to follow this format. Uh, the name of the ID for the actual game, okay? And it has to have at least three letters of the actual ID, okay? And most of the texture packs have these names already included, so you don't have to worry about trying to figure out what to call it. Once you have the name, make sure there's nothing else follows it. Uh, there cannot be any other names, just strictly the ID name of the game, okay? Like this, you see right here. And this is how they look like. They look like this, okay? Some of them also look like this as well. There's no photos at all. It's just a bunch of pictures, okay? All right. So we have that. And then we have the resource packs. For those, you're also going to have to unzip each and every single one of them without exception, okay? So, for example, we got Rogue Squadron right here. I rename it. Right, make sure you rename it to just this right here, like that, all right? Go in there. Oh, there it is right there, actually. There's an animation right there. So, everything looks good. Just go ahead and cut that, paste it into the texture pack folder, all right? And then we also have other ones a little more complicated, like this one. This is Tony Hawk's Underground game, okay? And when you unzip everything, it look like this. You've got these folders, also zip ones. Go ahead and unzip those as well. And then you get these folders right here, okay? Go ahead and click on one of them. Go into textures, and there's the folder name right there. There's ID. Go ahead and just cut and then paste that into a spot right here. So I have it right here. And then go to each and every single one of them. Go in there and just Cut it or paste it, whatever you want to do. And then just go ahead and paste it right here. Go to the next one, textures. 
select it, and copy, and go ahead and paste it. One more, go in there, copy, and paste it. Do that for every single one of these folders. Now for the bottom ones, uh, you also have the different controls right there. Based on which gamepad you have, just go ahead and copy that one and that one alone, okay? So, by the end of it all, it's going to look like something like this, okay? There's also some more folders as well, all right? So once you've got it, just go ahead and copy that into your texture folders right here, okay? And once you got everything unzipped with the correct file name, go ahead and copy all those folders into a portable hard drive, okay? Now we're gonna go ahead and load up Batocera, uh, and we're gonna copy those games uh, into the location where I'm gonna show you. All right, let's go ahead and load up Batocera. Okay, so we're in Batocera. Go ahead and press F1 on your keyboard. Okay, there's my portable drive. Let's go into my HD textures and Dolphin. All right, select all those. Go to Share. Go to Saves. Go to Dolphin MU. And go to Load. And there. This folder should already be created. If by any chance it's not there, then go ahead and create it. It's just the way, exactly the way it is. Capital T, and the rest of the letters will be lowercase. And then just copy and paste everything there. Okay, I already got that there already. Once you've copied everything, let's go into Applications. Go to Delphi MU Config. Let me show you the Resource Pack Manager. Tools, Resource Pack Manager. Normally, this should work. Open directory, it should work. Unfortunately, uh, it does not work. So that's why we have to convert all these into regular texture packs. Go to graphics. All right. Make sure your back end is Vulkan. Vulkan works the best, okay? Go to advanced. Low custom textures. Make sure that's selected. Prefetch custom textures. Go ahead and select that one as well. That's going to speed things up. Close this. Go to controllers. You might want to here configure your controllers. And in fact, in the first tutorial, I'll show you how you do that. I also show you how you can select certain configurations depending upon the game that you want. Make sure this is also selected, always connected. Okay, select your profiles that you want. Save your profiles. That's for the GameCube. And of course, you also have also here for the Wii. All right. All right, close everything out. Let's go exit here. Close this out. All right, let's go into the GameCube. Go into the select button in your gamepad. Go into advanced system options. All right, from there, you can choose the top two, you can choose the way you want it. Graphics back end, again. Make sure it's selected to Vulkan. Okay, that gives you the best performance. That one you can choose Auto. And if you have a slower computer, you might want to choose it on. Use Pad Profiles. Select that to on. Especially if you have custom configuration pads for different games. Video Resolution. Uh, here, depending upon your hardware, you can really spruce up. You can go all the way to 5K. Okay, uh, For this... Demonstration, I'm going to go ahead and select 2x. A lot of the games, in fact, work in 3x. But for the time being, we're going to go ahead and select 2x. This, you can also choose to spruce it up, depending upon your hardware. Select this to off, uh, mostly because sometimes some of the games do not work with do call turned on. Uh, it's auto. This also kind of spruce things up. You can choose to all the way to up to 8x. I'm going to put 2x. This has to be on. This is crucial. This is the one that will turn on all the texture packs. Okay, so make sure that's on. And if you want a widescreen hack, you can also turn that to on. Everything else is pretty much the same. All right. Now, I'm going to go show you the before and after. 
So the first video demonstration will be without the texture packs, and the second video demonstration with the texture packs, okay? So let's go ahead and start off with Soul Calibur 2. Okay, look at the fonts. Kind of blurry. Again here, fonts, blurry. Jacket edges. This here too. Jacket edges. Kind of blurry. Okay, blurry right there. Blurry. Notice that it loaded up right there. That's how you know it worked. Right there. Look. Look at the fonts. Look at those fonts. Much better. This here too. Huge improvement. This also looks better. Fonts here too also look better. Looks so much better. Look at the fonts. Looks better. Yeah, it looks so much better. Kind of blurry. All right, look at this intro screen right here. Okay, that's the normal version. Look at this right here. The fonts and the spaceship right here. Look at the spaceship. The fighter right here. The ground. 
Look at the grass. The background over here. The fonts. Planet. Spaceships. The exhaust right here. Take a look at the towers. Red leader, we've got you covered. I'm going after the towers. Come for Big switch, follow me. the fonts on top look at this look at this right here Better. Look at that. Much better. Look at that. So much better. Looks nice. Look at this right here. See that? Much better. Look at the ground. Look at his uniform. Look at his spaceship. Look at the grass, look at the background here. So much better. Look at the fonts. Sharp and clear. Planet. Spaceships. Even this one looks better too, this planet right here. Looks just sharp and clear. Look at that spaceship, it looks beautiful. Look at, look at the exhaust. Now pay close attention to the towers themselves and the structures. It's got more detail. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. Look at the detail. Look at this. Look at this. So much better. One more to go. 
so much better, so much nicer. All right, so let me go ahead and show you about Rebel Strike. If you had a hard time trying to load up this game, turns out for the most part it's not going to load up unless you do something important. So go into Properties, go into Editor, and this is the command you have to type. Okay? False. And where do I get this from? I'm going to show you right now the wiki page where you can get this information from. You can see it there on your screen right now. And in fact, I'm going to go ahead and link that uh, and link the home page as well. From there, you can try to determine if it's a game that's not working, what you need to add here to the user configuration file so that it will get it to work. All right? Okay, so this is all you got to do, and you'll get the game up and running. But I'm not going to go ahead and show you gameplay. I'm going to go ahead and skip this for the time being. All right, so that brings us to Super Mario Sunshine. And unfortunately, I think it's because of the texture pack. The bigger the texture pack, the more complications you'll have. Uh, it doesn't work uh, based upon the one I showed you earlier. Now then, if this is your absolute favorite game, you really want to play this game, and you want to play with that particular texture pack, there's only one little trick that you can do. You have to play this on the standalone application. So go ahead, hit Escape, uh, F1, go into Applications, Dolphin MU. All right. Go to Config, just in case, Paths. Go ahead and select your game folder. Use the Data ROMs Wii and use the Data ROM GameCube. All right. Close that out. Go back to Graphics. All right, make sure you get to Vulkan. Go to Advanced. And here, deselect this one, Prefetch Custom Textures. This is the only way that will work. All right, close that out. Make sure your controllers too. Config. Make sure it's selected to always connect it. Okay, and uh, all right. Make sure again, always connect it. Close that out. Close this out, and now we can go in there. Double click on it, should work now. Look at those fonts. Much better. Okay, skip this. Look at this intro screen. Absolutely gorgeous. Look at that. Beautiful. Alright. Look at those fonts. Much better. Okay. Let's mess around with this here. Look at that. Much better. All right. Again, looks so much better. Look at that. Looks gorgeous. Look at those graphics, look at those fonts. Look at that.
All right, the last one for the GameCube demonstration is Tony Hawk's Underground. So let me go ahead and show you first without the HD textures. All right, look at the fonts. What up, Eric? All right, look at the fonts right here. Look at the roof. Oh man. Here, I'll hold you down. All right, look at the roof right there. And the street. And now let me go ahead and show you now with HD textures. Look at the fonts right there. And there. Much better. What up, Eric? Look at that. Look at the fonts. Hey, help me out here. I was just skating, minding my own, and the deal spread my board. They took my knees wrecked. Could you grab them for me? Oh, man. Look at that. Much better. Here, I'll hold you there. Look at that roof. Things look much better. All right, that concludes our GameCube demonstration. Let's go ahead now to the Wii demonstration. I only got one game I want to show you, Resident Evil 4. Press select in the game pad, advanced system options. Okay, these first two you can pick it as auto. Graphics back in, make sure you pick Vulcan, it gives you better performance. And leave that to auto, unless you have a slow computer, you really need to turn it on. For the most part here, just go ahead and leave it off. If you do have a, a game that uses a customized configuration profile, uh, then go to the actual individual game, then turn it off from there. Like this. Hold that down. A button. Go to advanced game options. And from there, you can go ahead and turn it off for that particular game. Otherwise, go ahead and leave it off for the Wii U games. All right. Now, for video resolution, depending upon your hardware configuration, you can go all the way to 5K or 8X. For this particular game, I'm going to go ahead and select 1080p. Here, you can also spruce up the graphics. I uh, choose 2. To turn this off, because again, some of the games may not work properly. Leave this to auto. This also spruce up the graphics. You can choose either 2X all the way to 8X. I choose 2. Textures. This, of course, you also got to turn on as well. Okay, and uh, these are all auto. And turn this to on. And here, most of the games you will be playing the nunchuck. The other games you might use something else altogether. Okay, but for the most part, leave it here on. All right. Now I'm gonna go ahead and test this game out first without the HD textures. So I'm gonna turn this off. All right, let's play it. Look at, the, look at the fonts. They also. Okay, look at the title screen. And the fonts as well. Resident Evil 4. All right. Look at the gun. Look at his jacket, look at his hair, the leaves. Let's go over here.
Get all the fonts. All right. Move around here. Go back up here. Go to the wood. All right, let me go ahead and show you this with the HD textures, okay? It's got a different loading screen. You can see the textures loaded up. Look at the fonts right here, much better. Capcom also looks much better. Fonts look better. Resident Evil 4. Look at the detail right there. Fonts right here. Looks also better. Look at the gun. The hair. The grass. Um, the leaves. The wood looks better. All right, so that should give you a demonstration of HD textures in Dolphin. Hope you found this video tutorial useful. If you did, please go ahead and like it. That would really help me out with the YouTube algorithms. If this is your first time watching About This Other Nation, I highly encourage you to check out our website, AboutThisOtherNation.com, and that will give you a great overview of what About This is all about. Great operating system for emulation and for playing games. And then if you like what you see, go ahead and consider subscribing. I've got a lot more tutorials coming up. Once again, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you next time on About This Other Nation. Bye.